with these little plastic blocks, you can build anything that you can imagine. Like the Eiffel Tower. Or how about the Taj Mahal? It's all part of the magical world of Lego. It's so creative. It means that they're using their hands. They're not sitting at a computer keyboard and screen or with games. They can build, uh, they can break down and make different models. The word Lego means to play well. And since the Danish toy makers Ole and his son Godfred Kurt Christensen invented this brilliant toy in the 30s, children have been building everything from houses to pirate ships. You're designing stuff that you could build later on as an architect. Or something like that. How about you? You think it's a good learning toy? Yeah, because I want to be an architect when I grow up, so I play with Lego a lot. The Sydney Museum has over 100,000 individual pieces that make up the 250 models that are on display. The Taj Mahal itself has nearly 6,000 pieces, and it took 35 hours to build. But for Peter, it's truly a labor of love. One of my greatest thrills is being at the front desk when the children come in. Some of them are six feet off the ground. They're so excited. And in the first six weeks, we've had over 4,000 visitors already. And we're expecting up to about 10,000 by the end of March. And Lego has come a long way. It's now moving into the high tech world. I like engineering and and making and building cool robots which actually do what you want. They call themselves the Circuit Stormers, and this team of four pre-teeners designed, built, and programmed an intelligent Lego robot that wowed the judges of the Lego League Championships. And they're now the top team in Canada, ready to take on the world. I loved um, building all the robots, and I especially like programming it. I like dealing with the computer. Sometimes it can be a bit frustrating, oh, no. ah! but sometimes it can be really fun when you see it work. It's just great. Yeah. And now the team is heading to Turkey to represent Canada at the World Lego Championship. And how did they feel when they found out they won? Ah! <laughs> That's what I felt like. Yeah. Really, really, really good. They actually got a perfect score for their robot and display. And for eight-year-old Helen, it's all about the teamwork. It's very fun to do it. It's You're learning things in a fun way, and you just get to meet lots of other people at tournaments, see how far you can get, and also just fun being with the team. They're also working closely with Circuit, that's the name of the robot, to make sure he's in top shape for the competition. And just seeing how clever this group of young people are well, I just had to ask. Do you think your team might be able to build me a robot that will clean my house? Yes. And you would do it for free? For free. It's the fun, it's really fun. Love this team. So many ways to celebrate Lego. Sydney Museum has their exhibit on till the end of March, but if you really want to support LEGO lovers everywhere, you have to go to this website, LEGO Stormers! Because this very talented team of young people will be representing Canada in an international competition. They need your help. Get online and find a way to support them because they need help to get to Turkey. Now I want to hear your cheer. Beware! Move over! The circuit storms are building over! You strike like lightning! You roll like thunder! We are the latest LEGO wonder! Karen Hawkins, my your lifestyle specialist.